Let us now make a tour of the marina and learn the words for the different parts of a ship. Let's start at the bow and go aft. Going aft, we will find the following superstructures. First is the forecastle head, or forecastle deck, and on it the windlass for the anchor. On the marina, it consists of two combined anchor mooring winches. Aft of the forecastle, the main deck stretches along the whole length of the ship. On the main deck are her three huge hydraulically driven cargo cranes with a lifting capacity of 37 tons. The marina is a so-called geared vessel, that is, she has her own cranes for loading and unloading the cargo. On the open main deck, also called the weather deck, we find large hatch covers over the hatches that lead down to the cargo holds below. The marina has McGregor fold-tight hatch covers with six panels per hatch end. The hatch panels are folded open when cargo is loaded into the huge holds. The length of the panel pairs usually corresponds to the length of the containers stored on the weather deck and in the hold. On the marina, the hatch covers can be partly opened and cargo lifted away for individual panels. It's important that the hatch covers are closed tightly, they're sealed. The sealing systems of the hatch covers must be reliable so that the covers are weathertight and resist water, corrosion and drastic changes in temperature. Below the weather deck are the cargo holds. On the marina there are five holds that can load a wide range of dry cargoes. The holds can be used both for carrying bulk cargo, like grain or fertilizers, or to stow containers. Strong bulkheads separate the holds from each other. In addition to this, the holds on the marina have removable between decks, often called tween decks, with their own hatches and tween deck hatch covers. This increases the maximum number of cargo holds to 10. The marina can also carry containers on the weather deck. On bulk carriers and on multi-purpose vessels like the marina, the superstructure lies towards the stern of the ship. The superstructure is built up in a number of decks. On the first deck, there are the dining rooms for the crew and the officers, called the mess, and the ship's galley. On this same deck are the day room for the crew, where the seamen get together during free hours, and a lounge or day room for the officers. Other recreation space for the crew includes a sauna and a gym. On the second deck, we find the accommodation or living quarters for the crew, including engineers and electricians. On the third deck is the accommodation for the officers. On the starboard side, the first officer's cabin and office. On the port side, living quarters for the second and third mate. Amidships, on the third deck, is the conference room and the ship's office. On the fourth deck are the captain's day room and bedroom. And aft of these, on the starboard side, the chief officer's cabin and office. On the port side is the cabin for the ship's owner. On top is the navigation bridge, in the past often called the wheelhouse. A modern navigation bridge is an integrated workspace which includes workstations for navigating and conning the ship, chart desk and the communication workstation, earlier called the radio room. On the side are the so-called bridge wings to improve visibility from the bridge. On top of the navigation bridge is the mainmast, with the radio antennas, navigational and signal lights, and radar scanners. Aft of the mainmast are the funnels, and aft of these is the poop deck. On the poop deck, there's a second set of mooring winches. The engine room of the marina is at the stern of the ship, below the main deck, aft of the cargo holds. The whole body of the ship is called the hull. The outer surface is called the plating. On the marina, the hull is made of steel. It's strengthened to meet Lloyd's Register Ice Class 1A requirements. This is necessary as she is on traffic in the Baltic Sea. The space between the cargo holds and the bottom contains the double bottom tanks for ballast and sometimes for fuel. Stairs on a ship are often called ladders. Rooms or space on a ship are often called compartments. The compartments are separated by watertight bulkheads. The marina makes a speed of 17 knots. She carries a crew of 15. Her deadweight tonnage is 12,000 tons. Her overall length, LOA, is 140 meters. Her length between perpendiculars, 
LBP is 130 meters, her breadth is 22 meters, and her draft is 7.5 meters. She can carry 521 20-foot equivalent unit containers, including 20 refrigerated containers. Her total cargo hold capacity is 14,950 cubic meters.